How to have a snowball fight. Oh, a snowflake. So beautiful. <gasps> Ouch. Congratulations. You've just been invited to your first snowball fight. Aww. Want to play? <laughs> to accept, softly toss a snowball back in reply. And thus, a gentle volley ensues. Take cover! The snowball fight is a loosely organized, informal affair. Taking on winter fairies in a snowball fight? What were we thinking? I've got a plan. Cover me. I'm on it. Clean, wholesome fun is the name of this game. I love the smell of snowballs in the morning. We're never going to make it! Yes! <laughs> make it die! Hey! If all seems lost, remember, there's no shame in surrender. You might even invite your opponent for a nice cup of hot cocoa. Snowball fight ever! <laughs> Best two out of three. Oh. How to build a snowman. Since snow first fell to the earth, he's been a beloved seasonal icon. Yes, it's that jolliest of winter fellows, the ever cheerful snowman. I'm starting to think I'm not very good at this. Aw, oh, chin up, Clanky. Just watch the winter fairies. Yeah, try again, and this time, throw yourself into it. You're right. I think I'll give it another go. To construct your snowman's base sphere, gather a small handful of snow and, ever so carefully, begin to roll it on the ground. As it rolls, your snowball will slowly increase in diameter. This is my first time, so not too fast. Next, proceed to form a second, smaller sphere, or your snowman's torso. Come on, slowpokes! Uh, wait! Oh. Hey! I think I got it! Me too! Oh. You've now graduated to your final sphere, or the head, as it were, which should bear a pleasant expression to reflect the snowman's sunny disposition. Run for your lives! With your three spheres completed, gently stack one atop another in descending size order. And just like that, your snowman is complete. Well done, Clanky! But how? Uh, did like you said. I just threw myself into it. <laughs> How to ride a toboggan. On a winter's day, there are few things more pleasant than a nice, gentle toboggan ride with friends. Thanks, Winter Fairies, for inviting us to ride one of your, um, thingies. Of course, the novice tobogganer should stick with more moderate, gentle slopes at first. <gasps> too steep! Way too steep! Um, guys? What? What is it? As you calmly coast, <gasps> simply relax and enjoy the ride. We're doomed! When riding a toboggan, it is important to always face forward. And for your own safety, you must remain seated at all times. <laughs> To stop your toboggan, simply apply pressure by placing your feet gently to the ground. And thus, you might pause to take in the beautiful winter scenery. <sighs> Toboggans are not designed for extreme winter sporting. But for the rider who takes it nice and slow, tobogganing is sure to bring nothing but smiles. Congratulations! You've safely completed your maiden voyage. Huh? We made it down? Made it down? <laughs> You're only halfway. Halfway? Have fun! See you at the bottom! Yeah! 
How to Ice Skate. Ice skating, in which the participant balances on the narrowest of blades. When done by an expert, it looks effortless. But it isn't. Winter fairies make it look so easy. Are you all right, my dear? Oh, Fairy Mary, are you joining us? Oh, I thought I might take a spin. Just be careful. Ice skating is hard. Oh, don't I know it. Indeed, the beginner what? should start with the most basic, utterly simple move. <laughs> <clears throat> I said the most basic. Uh, crossover step if you're feeling brave, but nothing more. <clears throat> oh, jingles. Okay. So maybe this isn't your first spin on the ice. Even so, the intermediate should never attempt a uh, quadruple axle. It's whole loop. It's all cow. I don't even know what that's called. In all my years, a flying starfish haircut or death spiral combination. Impossible. <clears throat> and, uh, that is how you ice skate. Fairy Mary! That was amazing! Oh, that was just me warm-up. Ta-da! <gasps> <Ooh. laughs> 